In APEX 23.2, we have introduced a new shared component called Map Backgrounds. Now, you can use custom map backgrounds on the map region, the display map item and the geocoded item. To create a new map background, I simply click on create and provide the required details such as name, type and URL. You can create three types of map backgrounds, vector, raster or OGCWMS. You can read more about each type by clicking on the context help. WMS is a standard that provides HTTP interface for requesting spatial images. So, in the URL, you need to pass specific parameters like style, layers, version, and service, among others. Some of the parameters are added automatically by Apex. This ensures that the map is properly displayed on the page. Additionally, you can include the API key if necessary add HTTP headers and include copyright messages in attribution. Under Advanced, you can specify the minimum and maximum zoom levels. Under Subscriptions, you can subscribe to or use the maps from other applications. That's it. Now apply changes and use these map backgrounds in the map region, the display map item or the geocoded item of your choice. Now, from my sample maps application, let's say I have a map region with a default background. I want to edit the map region background. I simply select the region, go to attributes in the property editor. Under the map group, for background, I select shared component. For standard, I select the vector background from the drop down list that displays all the map backgrounds created earlier. Now save and run the page. Look at how the background has changed. Let's go back and select a raster background. And now you see the raster tile background. Finally, let's apply the WMS background and see how it looks. Similarly, you can apply these map backgrounds to a display map item or a geocoded item. Try this and other new exciting features in Apex 23.2 on apex.oracle.com. Thank you for watching.